By now, many people have heard a lot of things about COVID-19. COVID is a virus. It's like a flu. COVID toes. It might be more dangerous if you have an underlying health condition. While there's still a lot that we're learning every day about COVID-19, there are some basics that we can go over. And in the following video, we will set out to briefly explain what it means that COVID-19 is a viral infection, and also talk a little bit about what sporting systems can be affected and how the scientific community thinks that that happens. The first thing to note is that COVID-19 is a virus. More specifically, it's a type called coronavirus, named so because of how the virus looks underneath a microscope. There's a spherical shaped studded with proteins that come off of it, similar to a corona. Viruses are a type of microbe that can sometimes cause diseases such as the common cold or the flu. However, two take home points are that some common medications given for infections, such as antibiotics, won't work. And two, just simply knowing that it's a virus doesn't tell you how sick you will get, as this can depend on both the virus as well as how your body reacts to it. So the idea that because it's a virus, like the flu, that it's not a big deal is simply not true. So what actually happens when we come into contact with COVID? Right now, we think that it's primarily transmitted between people from tiny droplets that come out of people's mouth and nose when they cough, sneeze, even talk. When these droplets get introduced into your own system, either directly or indirectly, they're thought to latch onto a certain protein on the cells in your airways. And once it gets inside, they can start replicating. Right now, it's thought that there's one particular kind of protein that COVID-19 targets, but this protein is found in cells in many different areas in your body. But two of the most important areas are in your airways and in your lungs. The kinds of symptoms that you might get can mirror where the virus currently is in your body. For example, initially in the upper airways, if it's infected, you might feel congested or have a sore throat. And as it moves around into your lungs, you may notice that it becomes more difficult to breathe. While we don't know with absolute certainty what exactly happens right now, the medical community thinks that when the virus gets inside the cells in your lungs, it can cause some direct damage. Now, another thing that happens is that your body will react to this infection by activating your immune system. A normal part of this process is when these immune cells go to where the virus is and release different chemicals that can help gather the troops, so to speak, and this is called inflammation. One of the ways inflammation works is to increase blood flow to certain areas. It can also make your blood vessels a little bit leaky, which is important to allow these immune cells to leave the bloodstream and get to work in the infected areas. However, sometimes this reaction can be so strong that it causes its own problems. And if there's too much leakiness in areas like your lungs, it can make it even harder for you to breathe. This is one of the reasons why COVID-19 can be so dangerous. When this gets really severe, you might not be able to catch your breath no matter how hard you try, and this can be really dangerous. If you feel this way, you might need some additional support for your breathing at a medical facility, which might just be some additional oxygen, or in very serious cases, have a breathing tube inserted to keep your breathing going. Now, aside from the lungs, you might remember from before that COVID-19 gets into cells based off of certain proteins and this can be found in different areas of your body. Some of these other areas include your kidneys, your liver, and your heart. Right now, it's not clear exactly what causes the damage in these areas, but the leading ideas are similar to what we've described before, either through direct damage from the viral invasion or as a consequence of the immune response in your body. 
Unfortunately, when these other organ systems are affected, it may not be as noticeable as when your lungs and breathing are affected. So if you know that you have pre-existing disease in any of these systems and you're feeling unwell, speak with your doctor. Now, one system that can be affected sometimes, which you will notice changes, is your skin. Scientists and doctors have noticed that there are skin changes that can sometimes occur with people who have been infected with COVID-19. You might have heard of things like COVID toes or heard that COVID might be associated with rashes. Like many of the things, there isn't a complete grasp of what happens right now, but it is thought to be related to that immune reaction that we were talking about. So if you're feeling sick and notice a new rash, again, talk to your doctor. Lastly, a quick word about how COVID-19 affects children. You might be wondering how COVID-19 affects children, and to the best of our knowledge right now, they generally do quite well if they've been infected, with the exception of those who are quite young. However, because children's immune systems are still developing, their bodies might react a little bit different, and certain conditions might be more common, like rashes. One interesting observation in particular is that in some children that have been infected with COVID-19, they develop a group of symptoms that is similar to a known disease called Kawasaki disease. This is a disease that sometimes occurs to younger children after they've fought off certain infections. Their immune system stays overactive and it starts to damage some of the blood vessels, which can result in a bunch of different signs and symptoms. So if you're taking care of a younger child who's feeling sick, possibly with COVID, and you notice that they've had fever for many days in a row, there's some visible changes and redness in their eye, or changes in their lips and tongue, then the best thing to do is to speak with a doctor because it's really important to get treatment for this condition. Hopefully you've been able to get a basic understanding of what can happen to the body when COVID-19 is contracted. Continue to browse through the modules to learn more about how COVID-19 might affect your day-to-day -day life.